with me for the last session I did about two weeks ago. My phone died um, about half an hour in. So today we're at 62% at the moment. Um, I'm really hoping this, this is enough to get us through for the next 45 minutes. But we will see. Just gonna wait for another, say, five minutes. Um, wait, uh, just admit everyone, let everyone in, whoever wants to come, so. And, uh, and then we'll start the train. There's my dad mowing the lawn. If anyone's interested, he might feature in the background. Hey, Tommy. Hello. Is that Zach? Yep. Good to see you again. Oh, hang on. Mm -hmm. oh, what is this? What's on? Uh, we've got 11, 11 superstars. Give it a couple more minutes. If not, it's, um, it's just us. Anyone else spin the ball on their finger? Just while we wait. Someone give it a try, please. All right. All right, it's about time. Okay, guys. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Tom. I uh, played with Frankston Blues men's team last year. Oh, another one coming in. Josh Andy is in. And um, I'm taking you for a train with me session. So, what you'll need for this session, you need two basketballs, uh, two markers. I've got cones as such and a tennis ball so if you've and a drink bottle if you are if you want to hydrate we're gonna have a, a couple of breaks because the sessions do get a little bit tough so um if you haven't got that then just quickly go run and grab uh the equipment and and we'll get into our warm-up All right, cool. So just to start off with guys, we're just gonna start with some high knee skips, okay? So driving through our arm, opposite arm to leg, and having a quick turnover of our, of our feet. So yeah, on the move. On the move, really try and get up high. Have the string pulling, a string, like a string's pulling from the top of your head. Skipping around. All right. Now we're gonna go to some broad jumps. So put our hands all the way up, drop down, and jump. And you're gonna try and stick the landing better than I did. Up, through, and jump. Stick the landing. 
and we'll just go. We'll go for uh, let's go for six, six of these. Three, four, five, six. All right, feeling good. Feeling good. All right. Now we're gonna do some body weight squats, okay? So we're just gonna go for 30 seconds. Putting your arms out in front, going down until your back, until you start to lean forward. So go down until you start to lean forward, then just come back up. So it doesn't matter if you can't get that low, just try and get your legs activated, get them warmed up. All right, let's go. So putting a, try and get our bum to the ground. And we're keeping our knees behind our toes. So we don't let them go out. All right, good job. All right, now we're doing our lateral jumps with a stick landing. So that means you start one leg up, Jump across, stick the landing. Go for 10 each side. I'm not good at this one. Whoa, stick it. There we go. Ooh. All right, good job. Awesome go. Awesome job. All right. Now, let's get into it. So, everybody grab a basketball and a tennis ball. All right. We're just going to start with some right hand pounds with the basketball. Our left hand has a tennis ball. We're just chucking it up and catching it. We're just going to start at hip height dribbles. Get the feel of it. Try and concentrate. See if you can get the, uh, the basketball dribbling to go into autopilot. So all you have to concentrate on is throwing and catching the tennis ball. All right, now let's go low, low dribbles. Blow our knees, blow our knees. Now let's go high, high dribbles, high dribbles. Up to our shoulder. Is challenging. Good job. Now we switch to the left. Hip height with our left. And catching the ball, our tennis ball with our right hand. I think I, I think my screen's opposite to you, so yeah, do what I'm not doing. All right, now let's go low, below our knees. Below our knee. Work those fingertips. Good job, all right, now let's go high. Shoulder height. Ooh, found it. It's difficult. Oh. 
Oh, dropped it. All right, now we're going to go into our crossovers. So we're going to go pound, cross, catch. Pound, cross, pound, cross, catch. So we pound, the one dribble, cross. Oh, did I miss Tom? There we go. Pound, cross. On each cross, you're switching over the hand. As in, sorry, you're throwing the tennis ball from your right hand to your left hand and the left hand to back to your right hand. A message. Sorry, my dog is annoying me. That was okay. Don't worry about your dog annoying you. Dogs are lovely animals and we love them here at Franks and Blues. Okay, good job. Now we're going to try and do, see if we can do double crosses. So what that means is you chuck the, butt, the tennis ball up, you're gonna cross it to your right hand and then back to your left and then catch it again with your right hand. So a tip for this, throw the tennis ball up high and really take care with your tennis ball throw. Don't throw it too far in front of you. Don't throw it behind your head like that. The same thing as the other time. Let the dribbles go into autopilot. And see if you can multitask. Okay. Now once you've done about 10 of those or so, we're going to switch over the right hand. It's the same thing. Throwing the tennis ball up with our left hand. Well, not like that. Yeah. Oh, I dropped it. Ah, uh, no. Ooh. All right, a couple more. Good job. All right, good job. Now take a drink. We're gonna take a little break. Take a drink if you need it. Because I need it. Okay. Cool, cool. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. So a couple more and then we're gonna move on from the tennis balls. We're gonna do the same thing uh, behind our back. Behind the back and toss up in front of you and catch it. I got taught a trick. Oops. When drilling behind your back, Slap your bum cheek or slap your upper leg as it goes through. And then every time the ball will come out in the same spot, you just hit the same spot of your, of your leg. But again, guys, this is about being able to do more things than just dribble the basketball. While we dribble the basketball. So this will help us when a defender's trying to steal and we can use our offhand to deflect them or if we have to look up the court and make a pass or, you know, take the game winning shot. This is all really helpful stuff. Okay, now switching over, we're gonna put our left foot forward, our right foot behind and we're just gonna do the legs and throw it up and catch. So left foot is forward, our right foot's behind, and we're throwing it up and catching it. And if you feel if you feel uh, comfortable and ready and confident, that's a better word, you can try and do two. So two between the legs. Good job, guys. 
Yo, keep going. Keep trying, you guys. Doesn't matter if you stuff up. You keep trying. Stuffing up is your body's way of telling you you're getting better. Okay, now, same thing again. This time our right foot's forward, our left foot's back. And we're catching it, we're throwing it up and catching it to the opposite hand. And then try and have a strong core, strong base. Have your legs a little bit bent. It's just just like a game. Alright. Good job, guys. Whew. Nice. All right, now we're gonna put the tennis balls down, and we're gonna grab our other, our second basketball. If you don't have a second basketball, just uh, do what we do with two. Do it with one. So we're just gonna start off. Two ball dribbles at the same time. Hip height. Try and keep your eyes up and see if you can focus your mind on different things in front of you. That's looking at the screen or looking at a car or a tree or a bird flying through the sky. See if you can just focus your attention on something else other than the basketballs while dribbling the basketballs. All right, now we're gonna go low. Low our knees, low our knees. Really work it. Run it out. Uh, yeah, high, high. Up to our shoulders. Really pan it hard Ooh. and control it when it gets high. So don't get it too high. Really throw it down hard and focus on, yeah, stopping the ball from going too high. All right, now we're gonna go hip height again. This time we're alternating. So one up, one down. Same again. Look up, look around. Think about all your online schooling, your homework. See if you can still do your dribbling while thinking about other things, focusing on other things. Your body just going to autopilot. Gonna go low, gonna go low. Paper's gone away, paper's gone. Keep going, keep going. Now we're gonna go shoulder height. Shoulder height alternating. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Take a break. Take a quick break. Have a sip. Have some water. It's getting hot. Stay hydrated. It does a lot for your mood. I never had a drink bottle at school. And I think it's, uh, affects me till this day. So, I'll give you any advice, drink a lot of water. All right, now we're gonna do a little cool thing. Came up with it a couple of hours ago. I don't know if it'll work, but we're gonna try our best. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get you guys to try and spell your name with two basketballs. So, uh, you're looking, so imagine I'm dribbling with my right hand and my left hand has a basketball, I'm gonna spell a T. So a T, that's the top bit, and then down. And then I'm gonna spell an O. And then I'm gonna spell an M. 
hope that looks like an M. And so we're going to spell our names. Get this flipped around again. We're going to spell our names while dribbling the other basketball in the other hand. Okay? This is a little challenge for you. Everyone just spell your own name. Don't all spell Tom, unless your name's Tom. A little challenge. And if you want a real challenge, I'm going to spell my last name too. So spell your last name if you're doing it very easy. Or even, even your middle name. So you should be looking at the ground. You don't usually, you're not usually meant to, but this is just about ball control. Making sure we can make the balls go where we want them to. E. T, T, Tom Garrett. Awesome. Now, once you've done that, you're going to do the other hand. This time, your left hand is just dribbling and your right hand is spelling. If you don't know how to spell your name, um, go to Mornington Breakers. T, T, A. Ah, happy days. Good job, guys. All right. Take another little breather if you need to. We're going to do something new. So all you need now is just one basketball. Um, just one basketball. And we'll use the markers shortly. But won't worry about it just yet. Okay, so if um, what we're going to do now is something I call the Bozy dribble. So I don't know if any of you watched NBL one, our NBL one team last year, but Damon Bozeman was a import guard for us, and he taught me this dribble. So what it is is a very protective dribble, and it's about bouncing it and bringing it back. But you see. Oh no, 20% battery. Um, let's hang on guys. There you go. We're going to make it. So what it is, it's about dribbling in front. And as it comes up, you bring it behind your body. So you bring it behind your body. So it's when, it's as if you dribble and someone's trying to steal it. So imagine my left hand's a defender. And they're trying to steal it like this. You bring the ball back. And you're not carrying the ball. You're not going down and having your hand on underneath. You're keeping your hand on top of the ball. And a little bit, you can have a little bit to the side. If you do it quick enough in the game, the ref won't be able to tell, but you don't want to. So I just want you guys to practice and get into the groove of it. It's twisting your upper body as the ball comes up. As you catch the ball off the dribble, so as in, when I mean catch it, when the ball's coming up and you catch it back in your hand, you're then twisting back. So let's go with our right hand. We'll go for 10 more. And when, I, when you do this, I want you to put your left hand forward. So you're protecting. Someone tries to come steal it. You're twisting your body, getting the ball out of there, and you're protecting with your off hand, your, your guard hand. Now we switch to our left hand. Do the same. Do this side. It's okay, guys, if you stuff up, just get back into doing, into training. Stuffing up is your Body's way of telling you getting better. All right, cool. Now, whew, now we're going to do. We're going to get our markers. So I've got two cones. Get our markers, and we're going to remember what we just did with the the Bozy dribble, where um, 
We're going to be trying, if you can, do what we just did with the boat dribble and bring it back on each dribble. What we're going to do is I'm going to get you guys to have the, the markers in front of you. There we go. The markers in front of you. And as the ball, as you bounce it, as the ball comes up, your other body, part of the body goes down. So just try and imagine without a ball for a second, put your basketballs down and you're going to imagine bouncing the ball as it comes up, your other hand goes down. As the ball comes up, your other hand goes down. And then my left hand up, other hand goes down. So bending our knees, getting low, practicing using our off hand. Our off hand, if I'm doing with my right hand, my off hand is my left hand. So you practice using this hand. So what we're gonna do, we've got our two markers in front of us. We're drilling with our right hand to begin with. And we're just gonna go dribble, tap, dribble, tap. Okay, now let's cross over. Left hand, I'm gonna do the same thing. Better than that. If you can't master sort of getting the ball up, just dribble in front. That's also okay. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Okay. Now we're gonna do is the same thing, but we're gonna cross over. So, ball in our right hand to begin with. You're gonna cross over to your left and then tap your left marker. So cross and tap that one. And just come back to your right hand. Practice getting low after you cross. Bending your knee, bending your left knee and keeping your right leg straight. Or sort of. Just important that bending your left leg after and getting low after you cross. There goes the paper again. Good job. Now we're gonna switch our left hand, same thing. So cross over from left hand to right, and then touch our right cone with our left hand. So we're crossing, so touching the right cone with our left hand. So you're crossing your arm across your body. So what this simulates, or what this sort of, what this is like, is when you're in a game and you cross over, and someone tries to steal the ball after you've crossed it, you've got your hand in the way, already there, so you can go. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do, so this is a move that, all right, we're just gonna do this, okay? So we're gonna cross over from right hand to left hand, but this time, as the ball comes up in our left hand, I'm going to touch the right cone. Good job, guys. All right, now go to the other hand. Start on our left, cross to our right, and touch the left hand. The left cone with our left hand. If you don't have markers, um, I should have said this earlier, if you don't have markers, just use your shoes. Same thing, so you can just sort of touch your shoes if you want. Just, but if you have markers, don't worry about it. Oh, all right, good job, guys. Now, what we're gonna do, Take those same markers and move them a little bit wider. So I'll move them back so you guys can see. Move them a little bit wider. 
So what this is gonna make us do, is we're gonna do the same thing with the crossovers. But now when we cross over, we have to step through. Now, if you're getting good at it, so you cross over, cross your arm, cross your body, and touch the cone, and then bring it back. And if you're getting good at it, get the crossover back to the beginning. I find the easiest is to go through the legs. All right, now we'll switch to our left hand. Same thing. All right, good job guys. Take another breather. Breather, another breath, and another breather. Have a sip if you need it. Ooh. Really happy to see the Blues family still staying active and training with me on this uh, Friday afternoon. What else we got? Oh, yeah. Okay, um, this time we're going to bring our markers to about as close as we had them before, where you can touch them without having to take a step. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to go marker to marker. So that means dribbling in our right hand. Oh, let's start again. Marker to marker, marker back, marker to marker. And move our whole body. So we're going, if you can watch me, bring in the cone over to the other one. If you've got shoes or another marker or something else, just bring it next to it and then back. All right, good job. Now switch over to our left hand, do the same thing. Good job, guys. All right, nice job. Oh, I am buggered. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with crossovers. So, I think every dribble is a crossover. Really test you. So just try and move a marker every dribble. Oh. oh. 
Good job, guys. Whew. All right. Now we're gonna, same thing, just one basketball, two markers in front of us. We're going to do the uh, Damien Lillard step. So what that is, I'll show you from this way. You're gonna go forward, the outside of your cone, and you're dribbling. If I'm gonna go to my right cone with my right foot, say that to yourself, right cone with my right foot, dribbling with my right hand. And as I take a step, I'm gonna dribble. So what that looks like is going forward, oh, not slipping like that, going forward hard and then stopping. And as you stop, you dribble. So you dribble at the same time as you put your foot down. And as we do that, we've been working our offhand. We put that offhand up to guard it. So this is good when we're driving and all of a sudden we have to come to a stop. Come to a stop, we keep our head up, keep our dribble alive, and we keep it safe. So when we do this, I want you guys to try and dribble right next to your foot. Okay? So as you go, dribbling right next to you, right up and down your shin. Up and down your shin bone next to your foot. So right next to, right on the side of your foot or not on the side of your foot, next to the side of your foot. So yeah, we're attacking, we're going very fast and then we're stopping. We've got our opposite hand up, protection. All right, now we're gonna go other side. We're now going with our left hand dribble, we're going to the left cone with our left foot. We're attacking, we're driving and we stop. We stop as we step. Ah, good job guys. Now, uh, take a quick drink if you need it. I do. It's 26 degrees today, my car said. So that's hot enough to take a few drinks. Um, okay. So now what we're going to do is the other option of when we drive, when we're driving into in the three point line to the key and someone cuts in front of us, first another, one of our options is to stop, put up our guard hand, and the other option is to rotate our body. And as we rotate our body, we're dribbling the same thing, we're dribbling next to our foot. So I'll show you, I'm going this, this way, someone comes, I'm low, I've got my arm bar up and I'm dribbling right next to my foot. Like that. So I'm gonna show you this way. Going, we rotate and we're there. I want you guys to practice that. Take a pound drill with your right hand. Go forward. Ooh. Don't slip again. Like I said, don't slip. Uh, go forward and then we're gonna rotate. Rotate our body and take a protective dribble. We're opposite hand up. Okay, we're gonna rotate each time. So, oh, not rotate, sorry. We're just gonna go left hand now. Left hand now. So, same thing. Dribbling hard on your left hand. Rotate, rotate your body so your feet are facing this way and then they're facing this way.
job. Job, guys. All right. Now, we got time for one more thing, and that's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the last two things we did. So we combine stopping on our foot and then rotating our torso, our body, and our hips to dribbling on our side. So I'm going to have you guys set up your two cones. There you go, you can see them like such. And you're going to go to your right foot, right side, you're going to with your right hand, stop. So that stop dribble that we did. Hang on, bring these back. Our stop dribble. And after the stop, we're going to rotate to our side. Okay? So stop dribble and rotate. We want to keep our left hand up the whole time. And you can might be able to see, but on our rotate, we're using that Bozy dribble where we bring it back. And it's bringing the ball back behind it after we pick it up. So we have two more on our right hand. All right, so now we've got our left hand. We got left hand, so we pound with our left foot, rotate. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. That is it for us today. Frankston Blues turn with me. So I want to say thank you to all of you. Um, for coming out and training with me today. Uh, I love seeing Franks and Blues. Still doing well. Um, my phone's on 1%, so I should get that checked out. But I want you guys to um, have a stretch now, see if you can cool down, and, um, yeah, have some fun over the weekend. And do some of the, uh, the Sunday hoops fit. I think that's what it's called. So keep coming to the Frankston sessions. Thanks, guys. See you later. Thanks, Tommy. Bye. 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 Thanks, Tom. Bye. Thanks.